The uh, British pound is just a couple of pips of trading to a new monthly high, and that could effectively open up the door for a rally towards 134. Why are we trading upwards today then? Well, primarily because inflation figures from the UK showed that inflation is doing slightly better than expected. And that's what we're going to talk about in today's market update. All right, guys, so this is the British pound versus the USD, and we have the monthly high it was created here at one uh, at 33.11, and that happened on November 11th. Now, we are so close to trading above that level, but we need to be very, very careful because it's 4 p.m. in London, and usually liquidity rises up at this time of the day, uh, and, and it's prone to have a lot of false moves. So I think the way it looks like, because inflation was slightly better than expected, now, inflation was slightly better than expected. That alleviates the pressure on the Bank of England to do any more QE. In the beginning of the month, they added about some 150 billion um, British pounds to their QE program, and that program is supposed to go run through over the next 12 months or so. And they're doing that because we were flirting with deflation just like three months ago. Three readings ago, we we're flirting with deflation. But now with the COVID-19 vaccine, then that's encouraging. Uh, got the QE, that's also encouraging. And you have as well Dominic and Cummings leaving on Friday last week. And that is also super encouraging because we might have some sort of EU uh, trade talk. Now, officially, Dominic and Cummings leaving shouldn't have a major impact, at least what they're saying. But um, I think these internal struggles they have there within government, it wouldn't be there if they were winning, right? If everything was going as planned, it would be with high fives instead of, you know, these messages sent back and forward. And as well, if there is no trade deal, uh, Dominic Cummings is leaving before, just like a month or so before uh, the, the, the hard Brexit date. Uh, and that gives him the possibility to say, hey, I wasn't there. It wasn't my fault a little bit. So I think it's a combination of, of, of that. And I think that as well is another reason why people are buying the British pound. Now, from a technical perspective, you know, we are very close to get out that level. I think we might push a little bit higher and then probably a little bit lower. Let's see how far we go when we break, if we break higher. If we break a lot, a lot, we're just going to look for a little shallow pullback, maybe to 132.25, maybe 131.85. So we might need to push up this buy spot here. Now this buy spot is there in case we do not see a breakout. So if we don't have a breakout here, we might just come all the way down here and people might look to get involved again. In fact, we're actually gonna lift this a little bit higher already. Maybe we can just look into be bullish between uh, 31.78 and 31.84, which is the level I'm looking at down here. So overall bullish, why vaccine? Good. Uh, we have the um, Dominic Cummings leaving, and then we have inflation as well leaving. All of that is super encouraging. And then the fourth thing we didn't really talk about, and that is that the American dollar is just losing a lot overall, and it's just the way it has been recently, and we have an increased risk appetite, and that is causing the American dollar to soften. As well, if on January 5th, if Joe Biden and the Democrats would win the Senate uh, elections in Georgia, then uh, they would have control over the Senate and that would allow them to implement that one trillion infrastructure deal spending that they want to do. So more stimulus from the U.S. to some extent. And that again, as we've seen historically now, um, that would tend to weaken the American dollar. So let's see what happens. The From a technical point of view, it's quite clear and we have the drivers. Let's see how long that lasts. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like the video and I'll see you guys tomorrow.